I don't want to live in a virtual reality of what's going on inside of here. I want to live in my life. So I've just returned from that glorious walk that was on last week's video. You all will have watched that last week, I hope. If you haven't, I'll, I'll link it at the end and you can watch it backwards, watch it afterwards. Um, so really funny story. So that whole thing with connecting to being in concert with nature and being connected to nature and being completely present. So let me share you something quite funny is that when I went to go on that walk, I took my um, headphones with me, threw my phone in my pocket, and I was going to listen to a podcast. And as I started walking, it was such a gloriously beautiful day. I had this moment that I thought, what on earth am I doing? this is crazy. Why am I just not being present with this moment? So I decided to put the headphones away, listen to the podcast when I came back and sat down and had some breakfast and a little bit more coffee. And that's what I just finished doing. So here's the interesting thing. That particular pro podcast, it's um, a podcast on CastBox called The Happiness Lab with Lori Santos. The topic was <laughs> reconnect with the moment. So there is huge irony. I don't know, even know if that's the right word, but on the topic of how synchronistic that was, that I had this complete awareness that I needed to stay present and really just enjoy the moment. So, um, yeah, and surrendered to it. So, you know, in the podcast, when I was just listening to it, it was so in alignment with what I was experiencing this morning that I thought I would kind of share a little bit about that before I kind of go deeper into what had happened there. So um, it talked about most of us spending our days living in our thoughts, not in what is actually happening. Think about that for a sec. I would say that's really true, that we are spending most of our days thinking in living inside of our head, living in our thoughts, rather than actually being present with the moment. So we're either, you know, projecting out in the future, whether it's fearful or it's happiness or something we're looking forward to, um, or we're, you know, rethinking a conversation that we had with somebody or you know something that drove us crazy or upset us or whatever and we're not actually here in this moment and I think it's really kind of really interesting so um you know I'm going to read a quote because she her guest in this and I do think I hope you'll check it out because it's a super good podcast it was really good I'm really enjoying this happiness lab because it's really um not just about creating happiness it really talks about reality and um you know embracing ourselves as we are and connecting even to those things that we would consider negative feelings and that's something that I've really learned um in the last little while that the importance of that um that not spiritually bypassing or not bypassing what we're actually feeling but really embracing it and being present with it so um <laughs> i loved the quote that tara brock and she's amazing too uh, we spend a huge amount of time disconnected in a trance living in our thoughts in a small kind of world and not really in touch with what is going on inside of us or other people we're living most of our moments in thoughts about life rather than directly connecting to the emotions. She also talked about that, and I've heard this so many times, you know, the regret of dying people was that they didn't really live true to themselves. That they were living according to an expectation, um, either a societal expectation, family expectation, um, you know, even internal expectations of themselves and judgment that they've placed um, on themselves and not following what's really in their own heart. 
she said something really, really cool. And what she said was, you don't want to live. Yeah. How did she say it? Basically, don't live in a, you don't want to live in a virtual reality. I don't want to live in a virtual reality of what's going on inside of here. I want to live in my life. That is what my channel is working towards doing. I want to share with you all the stuff that I do um, because I want to show you what happens when you let go of expectations, when you let go of what other people think and you make decisions for yourself on what your heart is calling you and you get connected. And that's what that soul setting process did for me was got me connected to what was going on inside of me and the voice inside my heart. It got away from those expectations, got away from those judgments. I'm not saying it doesn't still happen because it totally does. Those things happen. I will all of a sudden have this moment where I am completely immersed in the negativity or in a situation that's happening. And and I and it's like it's a trance. And that's the, she used those words, and I thought that is so the truth. You know, we get in this trance of, you know, we're going through this and we're thinking about, you know, this experience that we're having is all consuming. You know, whether it's, you know, somebody did something to us or said something to us or something is happening in the world is all consuming. But when we pull it back and peel back those layers and go into our own being and our own selves, we can reestablish that connectedness. And that was the word that kept coming up before I figured out the in concert. I know that's two words, but um, before I figured that, I kept working with this connectedness word, right? And going like feeling connectedness to myself, feeling connectedness to nature and, and feeling connectedness to um, the people and what I'm doing and all those kinds of things. So it's really about being present, right? So, um, but I love the, the thought of being in concert with it because it, when you're in concert with it, you're actively part of the process. You're not just sitting observing it and connecting to it, but you're you're responding. You're you're seeing like like going on this walk. So I was like in touch with the sounds of nature and you know the 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 way and I'm just feeling myself smile as you know I heard certain birds coming on and you know how those and feeling the you know the hearing the noise of the traffic or a plane going over and um you know the and this traffic in being so different than what I'm experiencing because I'm actually in nature and can't see the traffic but I can still hear it it's still happening so there's such an awareness in that to go you know here we are I can be in something that looks a particular way, but something else is also happening at the same time. And if we bring our awareness into that, it's like it expands us in a way. I could feel my nose running and, you know, like it just constantly sniffling and snuffling and laughing about how nowadays, you know, literally having a runny nose and sniffling in public or coughing or whatever is like this horrific thing. It isn't something that ever used to be, right? And so here you are, I'm, I'm, you know, got this nose running and having this awareness of, huh, I probably should throw some Kleenex into my, um, into my pocket. So, you know, I can deal with that, I, you know, as you're walking, which is great. I could feel how cold my thighs were like I had really wrapped up and was really warm up here and had my toque on and everything um and warm my boots and everything but my thighs were actually cold so having this awareness of my body and what was going on with my body and how it was it was cold there and and quite often I'll put a little you know long underwear on but I didn't think it was cold enough but I probably needed that so that was kind of cool um I noticed things like saying hi to people. I made a point because it was so sunny and beautiful. You know, normally we go on a walk and quite often, you know, especially here I find, you know, people sometimes don't even say hello. They just walk on by. Um, and which is kind of weird when you think about it. Um, but you know, saying hi to folks and not just saying hi, but, but 
actively engaging like what a beautiful day today hey i'm just you know and and it was funny and an, another awareness of how um if it was a couple if it was a group of people they generally would just hi and continue on their conversation that also would happen with couples even if they weren't talking um they would just go by and it was more, uh, you know, there were often moments on that walk where, you know, one, a single person would stop and actually talk to me for a moment and just say, oh my God, isn't it gorgeous? And uh, my awareness of how I feel when I travel when I'm single and how when I'm, um, because I'm more engaged with people around me and I'll share more about that as we go along. I, you know, watch this little duck fight in the water. I heard this sound. I didn't, I had no awareness of it at first, but suddenly there was this sound going on and I was like, what is that? And I look and it was like this <laughs> group of ducks and they were, they were having a bit of a squabble in the middle of the water. And it was just, I sat and watched them for a while. Um, and I saw there was these, uh, at two different instances, there were people actually in the water. So there was someone getting water, uh, you know, like getting a bucket of water and going in. I could hear the sound and then someone else kind of digging a spot. And I've seen people panning down there and I don't know what they're panning for. So now, I, you know, this curiosity. Um, so there was just all of this dynamic of things going on and it all just weaves together into this moment and even you know walking by this transformer that's got this buzzing sound you know and and f feeling the a little bit of angst in that because I'm not really fond of being near all that stuff and yet loving what it does for us to be able to create um, space that we can you know have um, the electricity we need to to function, you know, in our everyday existence. So I just love this whole idea of being in concert with things. So being part of listening, responding, being part of the beautiful melody and um, song of life that is being created in every single moment with its sadness and its happiness and its um, frustration and all the things that are going on. So uh, I'm looking forward to really deepening into that and, and what that's going to look like and how it unfolds. And I'm hoping to share that with you here. Well, I will be sharing it, not hoping to, I will be sharing it with you here. So keep in, um, just keep, you know, if you can, just subscribe to the channel. Um, the Monday things are going to keep coming out. In the meantime, I'm working in the background on all kinds of things to bring the fullness of my life in so many different ways um, that have unfolded and the beauty of that uh, by letting go of expectations and judgments and allowing myself to just really fully experience life. And I want to take you along for the ride, but I also Hope that it inspires you to look at your own life and um, see where you would like to, what's that voice listening inside of you, that heart that's calling out to you. And if you can't hear it, get quiet for a while. It'll, it'll eventually speak to you. So enjoy. Um, hope you have an awesome day and thank you so much for um, checking this out. Again, yeah, just subscribe, hit the bell for notifications so you know when we put up the thing. Expect a video from me each Monday, my Monday musings, and keep an eye out for what's coming in the future with all the other projects I'm working on behind the scenes. So have an awesome day.